Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. What I've guessed today is what I believe to be one of the best PvP SMG builds in the game right now. Hands down, this is my favorite build right now for SMGs for last stand, the dark zone, um, even PvE. It's really fun to use. Now, I show a lot of love for assault rifles on my channel. I don't really talk about too much about um, SMGs or other weapons and stuff like that. So, uh, the next couple of days or so, I'm going to make some different build videos and uh, some different gameplay videos of me using like LMGs and uh, just different weapons and different builds in general. So um, today I wanted to show you guys my SMG build and my main SMG build that I believe to be one of the best ones, if not the best um, kind of combination right now for PvP or PvE right now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and let's get right into this. So really quickly, what I want to show you guys are my abilities. Now, this is something I normally don't use, and uh, for PvP especially, I don't really like using Overdose. But for this build, that's exactly what I'm using. So I do have an Overdose for my heal, and I'm also using a Conceal uh, Scrambler Pulse. And this can be changed out for the Damage uh, Pulse, which is a Tactical Scanner. But it really depends on what you're playing. If you're playing the Dark Zone or Last Stand, um, I would just recommend using this one. It's really, really good, especially when you are solo. Uh, for the heal, as I said, I'm using my uh, Overdose. Now, the main example and the main reason why is because I'm not actually running a vigorous chest piece, but I still want that overshield and, um, you know, a lot of health, and I don't really have that much skill power, as you guys can see in your top right corner. So I, I do want my heals to be really good, um, so that's why I'm using it. For my talents, I do have Critical Save, Strike Back, On The Move, Precision. Um, I use this all the time on pretty much every build, so there's nothing new there. Now getting to the build, this is actually what I'm using. So it's a little bit different. Normally I love using a vigorous chest piece and using a booster shot with it. But for this build, I decided to go with something something different. And I've been using this for like the past two or three weeks and I really, really enjoy this. I don't know why I haven't made a video on this sooner. But first of all, I'm going to show you guys what I have on my weapons. Um, so as you guys can see, I do have two SMGs. I didn't go with a SMG AR combination, stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to use two SMGs. So the first thing is my enhanced AUG A3P, and this is actually my primary SMG. Normally, you would see people running with that Navy MP5N, but for some reason, I fell in love with this gun. For the past couple of weeks, I've been using it a lot, and it, it just melts. It honestly melts. You guys will see uh, from the gameplay, I will post that this gun just melts with, um, you know, medium range, close range, far range. It, it just melts in general. So what I have on it is 21.50% crit chance, 21.6k base damage, and I'm also using uh, responsive, competent, and deadly on this weapon. In my opinion, this is a really good combination. Uh, for this particular build, I think using competent isn't really the best thing to do. Uh, maybe if I had something like responsive, deadly, unforgiving, it would be a little bit better, but uh, you know, it's still pretty good, and having competent on your build or your weapon um, is always nice. Now, for my secondary, I'm using the Navy MP5N, and what I have on it is competent, deadly, and unforgiving. So, uh, right here, uh, it, it's just something I can use as a backup weapon if I get in, uh, you know, crazy scenarios or, or whatever the case is. I have two SMGs, and, um, you know, I'm just melting everyone I see. Anyways, I'm gonna go over the build and the gear, what I'm using now. So, really quickly, uh, for my chest piece, I'm using a Barrett's chest piece. This is actually something that I wanted to make a build around. I normally don't use this chest piece. I do understand a lot of people don't really have luck finding this. So I don't really want to make too many videos, build videos with this chest piece because um, it's quite hard for some people to find. It took me forever to get it. So, um, you know, that, that's my reasoning behind it. But what I have on it is firearms and then I have health, skill haze, ammo capacity. And for my mods, I'm using two electronics and skill haze mods. Now, the primary reason why I'm using a bare chest piece is for the damage, not really even the skill power. Uh, my heals are still decent with the skill power, even without a um, bare chest piece. But I wanted the extra damage and also the extra armor, um, just kind of get a little bit more weapon damage and, and see if it helps out in PvP, and it really does. Um, I usually time my uh, my abilities, like I use my pulls first, and then I also get the you know critical hit chance, critical hit damage from the pulls. Then I also get the 5% extra weapon damage from bare chest piece, and um, I, I just melt anyone I see. So that's what I'm using for my chest piece. For my mask, I do have a Banshee mask. Um, this is something that I, I just love using Banshee right now. In 1.8, Banshee is good as well 
and 1.7 it's really really good for pvp especially so um I i'm making as many builds as i can with it but what i have on it is firearms skill power destroying resistance and i'm also using two of them so i get the extra uh, dz funds which really don't matter i don't really play dz uh too much but for last stand the 10 percent extra damage targets out of cover is really really important and it's really good and for my mod i'm using one firearms and health mod as for the knee pads, I did go with a Predator's Mark knee pads, and this is another set I'm using for the extra damage. Um, as you guys know, if you have three pieces of Predator's Mark, you get the extra SMG damage, and a rifle damage, and also the reload speed. Um, so that's kind of my build. Um, I have two Predator's Mark, two Banshee, a Ninja Bike Backpack, and Bear Chest Piece. So um, what I have on it is health, firearms, bleed resistance, burn resistance, damage to elites. And then I'm also using another firearms and health mod with a first aid self heal. Next up, I'm using the glue to this entire build, and that is a Ninja Bike Backpack. So what I have on it is 1266 electronics, 8% critical hit damage, and I'm also using Disrupt Resistance. Now, this is personal preference. You guys can either use both health rolls on your knee pads and your backpack if you have trouble staying alive and if you want to be a little bit more tanky. But I would recommend using one critical hit damage, one health, just so you can do a little bit more damage and... It kind of balances out perfectly, um, you don't really want to use two critical hit damage on your um, backpack and also your knee pads because then you're you're really squishy and um, if you have trouble staying alive or if your luck is just really bad and you keep running into like two people at once, you won't really be able to tank them and um, you know win a gunfight against them because your health is going to be so low, although you're doing a lot of damage if you're getting team shotted. Um, you know, having that extra health is really useful. So I would recommend using critical hit damage at least on your knee pads or um, your backpack. It, it just really depends where you can get. So as for the mods on this thing, I'm using one stamina and skill haste mod and two first aid self heals. Uh, the reason why I'm using one stamina is to unlock my responsive. Unfortunately, without it, I will only have uh, 2811 stamina. So my responsive wouldn't be unlocked with it. Um, so I have to use one stamina mod. For the gloves, I'm using my Banshee gloves. Um, what I have on them is critical hit chance, SMG damage, critical hit damage, and uh, firearms. Now, at first, I was kind of bummed out because I couldn't get ones with skill haste, and my skill haste is pretty low on this build. It's still um, okay, but it's not something that um, I'm very proud of. But I do have critical hit chance, and let me tell you guys something, that critical hit chance on this thing is actually pretty good. I don't know, it just makes you do a little bit more damage, and um, in PvP, using crit chance and... Critical hit damage is pretty much the key to winning every gunfight, so um, I'm just stacking critical hit chance. Obviously, if you have skill haste on your gloves, um, it's not as bad, but I would recommend trying out critical hit chance on your gloves and see how it works out for you. Last but not least, I'm using my final Predator's Mark piece, and that is my holster. Uh, what I wanted is pretty good firearms, stamina, and electronics rolls, and I'm also using skill haste with a first aid self heal. So, that's pretty much the build. Um, as I said, I wanted to go for a really high damage SMG build, but still have decent heals and still um, just be overall kind of balanced. Although my health is pretty low on this build, it is very, um, it's really easy to use, I would say. It's not the most tankish thing in the world, but it is something if you play right with your heals and your mech kits, you can kind of stay alive uh, for a long time. The final thing I do want to show you guys are my weapon um, stats and just my character stats in general. So the first thing is, I do have a 21.6k base damage, and this is without my pulls, this is without being uh, the bear chest piece bonus activated, this is just normal, this is without competent, anything like that. On this AUG, I have 21.6k base damage, which is actually very, very good. In Last Stand, when I do have everything active, I think my base damage is around 26,000, or 25.5 thousand, which is very, very good for ASMG, and especially with this much crit chance, it's really, really good for winning gunfights. Uh, for my critical hit damage, I'm sitting at 123,000. Once again, this can be a little bit higher if you go with critical hit damage on your knee pads, but I don't like that and um, I'm not using it. So I'm sitting at 123% on my critical hit damage. 62% uh, headshot damage, this really doesn't matter too much. I really don't go for headshots with the SMG. Uh, the next thing is my... My health, so I'm sitting at 195, which is kind of low um, at start. But as I said, if you play correctly with your heals and um, and your medkits and stuff like that, and uh, you know, just kind of play smart with the build, it's very easy to survive and it's really easy to take on like two or three people at once, especially if you still have your grenades or anything like that. 
Uh, the final thing is my skill haze. Now, unfortunately, my skill haze is only at 24%. I think it maxes out at like 25 or 26% in last stand. So my skill haze is not the strong point of the build, um, but that's okay. I, as I said, I wanted to make something a little bit different without um, usually maxing out into skill haze. Now, as I said, if you don't like using crit chance on your gloves, like I showed you guys before, you are more than welcome to go into skill haze um, and your, your heals and, and stuff like that will be coming back a little bit quicker. But I wanted to change up some stuff, and this, in my opinion, works the best for me. And, um, you know, it's just really, really good, uh, in my opinion. So, that's pretty much for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Trouble.